Hi, Casey. I um, wanted to give you a little bit of video feedback before you move along with this. You'll come back um, next year, or maybe you'll work on it in between, uh, but next year in web design you'll be working through this again. You can either modify what you've been working on or you can uh, start over depending on where you are uh, at that time, but you'll have more work to add and um, you'll have you know lots of different input between now and then. So just to start, um, it's got a great feel, right? I can tell that um, you're really thinking about the design that you're putting into it. Um, you know, there are just some basic overall things that you'll want to remember as you're moving forward and make another website. Possibly at this stage, you could create a website for a small company. Um, I will show you uh, why I have you submit the Get Feedback link is because uh, I can also see your mobile, but at the same time, and we'll do this in web design, I can add comments up here. Um, it's over to the top right of uh, this site here, but uh, I can add here and say, you know, move contact to the last page, which is something you'll want to do, and I'll post that. Uh, so these are things you can do with a client. You can send them this link and then they can make comments and you can make the corrections. And that's why I show you that at this stage. Uh, when you get to web design, you'll be responsible for the mobile view and you'll submit it so that I can uh, look at that, which is really easy to do. It's just another uh, screen, another editor um, that is right there a button away. And you know, I'll give you help with that, but it's really just usually re organizing some pages or some items and moving them around. It's really not hard because it's going to be automatic. Okay, so the contact always comes last. If there's no content on a page, then we will uh, disable that. Okay, so that's something you'll do. You are linked up and that's great. You've updated your copyright. That's great. I recommend a font that matches, sometimes matches your navigation. Okay, so uh, a sans serif here would be easier to read. And I would put the asset guide beneath it. You've got time uh, between now and, you know, when you graduate, you're going to have a lot more work. Okay, but the main thing for web building is to disable anything we're not using. Move the contact to the right. Uh, you won't need this. Um, you'll have, now, this could be a service page rather than booking online, you wouldn't need both. If you're going to have some examples here, I'm not sure you need both in that way yet. Okay. I'm wondering if, if you are able, turn this back. Okay, you can put, okay, hmm, I think in your case, consider the book online where you don't need it yet, but um, I don't usually recommend drop down menus, but if you're going to, to use that and you have room up here, maybe it's a drop down so we can see that it's connected. A link from this page would be good, a button that goes to booking online. Um, that would be helpful. Disable that. Blogs are great if you make a lot of different content can be uploaded in a variety of concepts and it will be organized because it's all in a blog. It would also raise your ranking in SEO. So a blog is good to have when there's time. Most students don't have time yet. Um, but if you find yourself creating lots of different kinds of work, then that's the place to upload and, and write a little small intro about it, what you used to create it, what it was for, the kinds of things you would put in an asset guide, okay? CVs, a curriculum vitae is usually in the academic, higher up academic realm. Um, you would have a resume or a list of experience and so these are good. I like the way you have it laid out. We just won't call it a CV because that's 
That's usually for people who are publishing um, academic research, so forth, in large quantities. And they can be up to like 12 pages. And so uh, I know it comes with the template, but you'll call it either, uh, I think experience is fine. You know, work experience or experience is fine. So you can do that. Um, you can say resume here if it's shorter, but CV, that we change. And I know it's with the template. I see it all the time. And I have to tell students that. So this is a new thought that you've, I think you've introduced. But uh, yeah, you'll work with that. You'll choose a sans serif that's easier to read in this particular case. That's a fun photo. I don't know if it's yours, but it's fun. I hope that it's yours because we do want to remove placeholder images. And the color is good. Uh, here you've got a pink, and this is what you want to think about carrying over. This is kind of a warm peachy pink. So, and this is a cool pink. So, you, you know, it's a very small difference, except it's going to feel different if you uh, kind of pull that back into kind of a peachy realm. We, we don't really need to even say welcome as long as you have a welcoming page. And I would say that this is welcoming. This is a welcoming image and that could be a home page, but this font uh, needs to be a little simpler. So fewer font styles, just two, one for headers and one for body copy. And this would be a good body copy up here. Okay. Uh huh. So this is different from this, is different from this. Yeah, uh, let's call this, let's call this project. You can have a drop down that says services, and this book online can be your services. Okay, and you can have book now, it's fine. Um, when this is projects, you can have a book now button, uh, book online button, okay, that will just go to the drop down here that will be called services. That moves to the right, that changes names. Okay, but you're gonna change a lot between now uh, and the next several months. Another thing is you will not want to have this on top of the KC. Um, it makes it hard to read and so they compete with each other. Just KC, uh, KC Corner is fine. Or KC and the script here. But it doesn't have to be complicated. But I think overlapping like that isn't quite working. So uh, it can either go under that KC or the corner or here. But... Uh, Simplifying and simplifying text. You won't need this. Um, if you book, you may have to, but generally we avoid these. And the booking online would be your last, your last need. Okay, so it's a great start. You're working with a theme. I do want to see these at the top of what this will become your project page, and I would like to see those here. Okay. So that would be at the top there, um, rather than at the bottom. It'll be at the top because it's important content. It's your work examples, okay? Okay, so that's good. I like how you have padding, so you don't have a lot of cropping. You'll add your asset guides like you have here. Okay. Okay, all right. Nice, great start, and like I said, you're going to have plenty of time to work on this, um, and you'll, you know, see it completely different next year, all right? Good job.